Bree here. So I wanted to review the 2019 BET Awards. It's actually crazy because I actually haven't watched the BET Awards in a really long time. Just because they haven't really been the same um, in the past couple of years. But me and my mom decided to watch it this year. And it was actually really, really good. Like even on Twitter, I saw people were saying how like this is like the best BET Awards that they've had like in a minute. So... I'm going to be talking about the some of the awards that were given um, at the show and at the pre-show. And I'm also going to be talking about the performances. So, um, so one of the one of the um, awards I was given out was for uh, Best Male R&B Slash Pop Artist. Um, the nominees were Bruno Mars, Donald Glover, Chris Brown, Khalid, um, Anderson Peck, and John Legend. Bruno Mars um ended up winning. I'm actually pretty I'm pretty cool with that. Um Bruno Mars, you know, he has a lot of good songs. I have a couple of his songs on, you know, on my phone. I listen to him on occasion. So I'm I'm okay with that. I also would have been okay with Chris Brown winning. I feel like Chris Brown definitely like you know, he's he's been doing his thing and he has like more hits um I think than Bruno Mars, so but you know, so then they had um best actor um they had michael b jordan anthony anderson mahershala ali chadwick aaron bozeman which you know is <laughs> like panther <laughs> um amari hardwick and denzel washington michael b jordan ended up winning um you know i would have preferred chadwick bozeman but you know we'll let we'll let michael uh b jordan have that um, then you had the Coca-Cola's, um, viewer's choice where they, um, allow the public to, um, you know, decide who gets the, you know, the vote. Then they had, um, okay. So they had In My Feelings by Drake. Um, this is America by Donald, Donald Glover, which is a really good song. Um, Sicko Mode by Drake and Trevor Scott. Um, I Like It by Cardi B, Bad Bunny, J, J Balvin, and Middle Child by J. Cole, and Trip by Ella May, Ella May, Ella May, um, Ella May won for Trip. Um, I actually really like that song, so, you know, I'm glad that she won, and I just love Ella May. Um, her speech when she accepted the award was kind of like, you know, like, it was nice, but then I felt like she was throwing shade at the end where she was like oh you know you like the music do the talking i was like wait a minute hold on what are you talking about but yeah um you know i was surprised cardi b didn't win just because like i feel like every category that cardi b is in she wins so i was surprised she didn't win that one but you know um let's see um they decided to give the humanitarian award to nipsey hustle um you know, I have mixed feelings about this. Um, not to say that he didn't deserve it, but it would have been better had they given him that award, you know, while he was still living. And then um, it was interesting when, you know, Lauren London and the family came to accept the award and, um, you know, everybody's speeches, especially the mom's speech. Um, I don't know, like, people are kind of mixed with that too because some people have no clue what she's talking about but then there's other people saying like oh no she's woke she's spiritual but i don't know that was just a very intense speech that she gave um but yeah so then for best collaboration they have sickle mode with drake um and travis scott um a lot featuring 21 savage and j cole taste with offset and tyga could have been with her and Bryson Tiller. Um, I like it with Cardi B, Bad Bunny, uh, J Balvin, and Please Me with Cardi B and Bruno Mars. Sickle Mode ended up winning. I actually would have preferred for Please Me to win just because I feel like, first of all, I love the song, love the visuals. I feel like it kind of gives you like a kind of like a 90s feel, kind of. Um, I just prefer that song better over that one but you know it's still a good song they're all every nominee i feel like deserve to be nominated um then you have the young stars award award yeah award um you had marseille martin 
Michael Rainey Jr., Caleb McLaughlin, Lyric Ross, and Miles Brown. Now, I'm not going to lie. Most of these kids, I did not know. The only ones I knew was Marseille Martin and Miles Brown. Um, Miles Brown is on Blackish. Yeah, he's on Blackish. And then I know the Marseille from um, that film that she was in you know she ended up being one of the youngest i believe one of the youngest um executive producers in the business so um kudos to her she ended up winning so i was i was glad that she you know that she won um let's see okay and then um mary j blige ended up getting the lifetime achievement award um which i felt like was well deserved again she has like so many hits so many hits my mom has like all her albums when i was growing up she would have me listen to mary j blige a lot when i was in the car so i know a lot of her songs um her speech was very very lengthy and i find that when it comes to like you know like legends or people that have been in the game for a long time they give them more leeway with their speeches whereas other artists tend to get cut off but you know her speech was good and then she performed like a whole bunch of her hits and she she did good i know some people were saying like oh she got winded and she was off note or whatever but i think she did pretty good and she kept up you know was singing all of those songs like that was that was a lot um sportsman of the year i don't really care about that but they had Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Tiger Woods, Oda Buckham Jr., Stephen Curry won. I'm okay with that. Um, video of the year. They had um, This Is America by Donald Glover, Please Me, Cardi B, Bruno Mars, A Lot by 21 Savage and J. Cole, um, Ape Shit by The Carters. Love that song. One of my favorites money by cardi b and nice for what by drake these are all really good songs i have pretty much all of them in my phone uh, but this is america by donald glover ended up winning you know well deserved um movie they had a uh, black clansman spider-man to the spider-verse if bell street could talk the hate you give and creed 2 black clansman ended up winning which was um that was very uh interesting but yeah that was um very interesting i would have thought that maybe you know the hate that you give or if bell street could talk with a one but you know kudos to them i guess uh okay now i remember this was the first award given of the night if i'm not mistaken and this really made me upset so they had the new artist award they had little baby um blue face juice world queen naja and city girls now y'all know queen is my girl i love queen queen's my favorite artist i listen to all her music like she's great amazing um i don't really listen to the city girls much but you know i know a lot of people are fans of them as well so I don't, like I, just, I don't know because even like even i went on twitter and like people were like why did little baby get the new artist award like what i don't know i think queen was definitely robbed um and even city girls like i don't know but congrats to him i suppose um i'm not really gonna talk about the international act because i don't know who any of those people were so i'm gonna skip that um Okay, so musical group. We had the Amigos, uh, Gunna, Chloe and Haley. I love Chloe and Haley. Um, the Carters, which Beyonce and Jay-Z. Uh, Little Baby, again. Which, he's not a... Wait, he's not a group. I don't know. And <laughs> City Girls. Um, Migos ended up winning, of course. Figure that. But I am surprised that the Carters didn't win. Um, or Chloe and Haley. I feel like Chloe and Haley, they need an award. Like, they deserve an award. Like, they work hard. Like, they sing amazing. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so now this one was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. So, gospel slash international artists. 
we have um let's see wait they have two listed here oh uh, i don't know okay so snoop dog and Ra rance allen one for gospel um they also have fred hammond tori kelly kirk franklin warren campbell and erica campbell um you know i never would have thought that snoop dogg would win a gospel award but to be fair i have not listened to the song either so i can't really make a judgment on whether or not i think he should have won because i didn't listen to the song so you know it is what it is um actress so they have regina king tiffany haddish T taraji p henson Issa Rae, Viola davis and regina hall regina king won I say well deserved. Uh, female R&B and pop artists. They have Beyonce, Tiana Taylor, her, Solange Knowles, Ella May, and SZA. All amazing artists. This category was, you know, everybody in this category deserved an award. Um, but of course, the queen, Beyonce. She won, of course. Um, again, don't really care about sports, but... You know, um, sports woman of the year. They had um, Serena Williams, Alyssa, Alyssa Felix, a Alyssa, Allison. I said Alyssa, Allison Phoenix, uh, Candace Parker, Naomi Osaka, and Simone Biles. I would have loved for Simone to win, but Serena got it. You know, I'm sure that was well deserved as well. Um, let's see. Oh. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry um, received the Ultimate Icon Award. I think that definitely was well-deserved. He's helped out so many people in the community. And, um, you know, he really built himself from the ground up. Like, from selling tapes, um, you know, play tapes in, his, in the back of his car to now owning his own studio. His speech was amazing and... Um, very inspirational to people out there who are just you know trying to achieve their dreams you know he definitely was an inspiration to everybody um and he got a standing ovation so that should tell you a lot um let me see let's do male hip-hop artists so they had nipsey hustle meek mill j cole 21 savage drake and travis scott they ended up giving it to Nipsey Hussle again, you know, not to say that he didn't deserve it, but I feel like a lot of these awards that are being given to Nipsey is out of like respect for, I don't know, like it's just, I don't know, because there are many people making the argument that, you know, if he hadn't passed, he wouldn't be getting so many accolades, but you know, I mean, congrats to him and his family. Um, probably would have preferred Drake. Yeah, probably would have preferred Drake um, to win that. But, you know, then female hip-hop artist. We all know who won, but I'm going to read the nominees anyway. Cardi B, Lizzo, Megan Thee Stallion, Cash Doll. Oh, I didn't know Nicki Minaj was... Uh, was oh, and Remy Ma. What? I don't think did either one of them even show up to the BET Awards, Nicki Minaj or Remy. That's crazy. Have they all like I don't know if I remember a time where they all three of them were nominated for the same thing. That's crazy. But yeah, Cardi B won, of course. We all knew she was gonna win. It's Cardi. Um, but like I said earlier, I feel like every category that Cardi has been in, she's pretty much taken the you know award home, so um let's see i don't know what bet her is so i'm gonna skip that well i don't know yeah no okay <laughs> so album of the year we have invasion of privacy by cardi b lma lma that's the name of her album um everything is loved by the carters astro world by travis scott and champions Ch championships by meek mill and of course, Cardi B won with Invasion of Privacy. So, you know, I think, you know, 
everybody who got an award deserved it. Ex- I little baby's questionable, but um, you know, I was I was really glad. I was really happy um with how it turned out. And like I said, the BET Awards were you know great this year, um, including the performances. So let's see here. So Lizzo performed. Um, by the way, I'm kind of late on the, like a lot of these new artists and like new songs. So I may not know what song they were singing, but I'm gonna get the um, I'm gonna get the person right. So Lizzo performed her song again. Sorry, I don't know what song she performed, but. You know, it was, I, I loved it. She was, you know, on a wedding cake and a wedding dress. Um, and I saw a lot of people saying that she was keeping up, like she was keeping up her breath and her, and her like moves better than some of these skinny girls, which is, which is true. You know, she, she, you know, she put on one heck of a performance. So that was really good. Um, <laughs> So they had freaking Lil Nas and Billy Ray Cyrus perform at the BET. Now you know good and well Billy Ray Cyrus did not expect to be performing at the BET. He probably never even imagined performing at the BET Awards. So that was cool or whatever. They had their little moment. Um, They performed Old Town Road. I do know that one. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. So at the beginning of the, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. But at the beginning of the BET Awards, they started with the, um, you know, an old school vibe. Um, you know, with uh, Regina Hall as I forgot to say, Regina Hall was the host. Um, uh, her and Taraji P Henson were singing, were dancing to the song called "Doing the Butt" or something. Um, you know, that was, that was cool. Um, my mom was excited for that part. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Uh, I didn't watch all the performances, by the way. So I think those were the only, oh, I did watch the one with Cardi B and, um, Offset. Well, let me tell you something. Offset got the moves. Like he need to do choreography more often because, Offset definitely got those moves. Um, Cardi B was amazing from the time that she got on that stage to the time that she left. That, like, amazing. And I loved her song, Pressed. Like, that, I love that song. Um, her, her performed at the BET Awards. And I really liked her performance. She actually did, like, a spoken word um, before her actual song. Um, so that was really cool. I really liked that. Um, the Migos and Mustard performed, you know, that was, you know, that was all right. Um, Lil Baby performed. Um, so yeah, all, yeah, they did, they did amazing. Offset and Cardi B both did really, really good. Um, Fantasia sang, I didn't see that one, but I heard she did really good. Um, yeah, then of course... As I said earlier, you know, Mary J. Blige performed all her hits. She brought out Little Kim and Method Man. And, you know, it was, it was really, really good. Like, overall, the BET Awards were really, really enjoyable. Um, next year is supposed to be the 20th. So, you know, that's two decades. Hopefully, they, you know, go above and beyond what they did this year. Because what they did this year was really, really good. Um, I cannot wait to watch it next year um but yeah let me let me know what you guys think um in the comments below what you guys favorite performances were who you guys maybe wanted to win but didn't win um you know let me let me know and uh, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys like my video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye